All right, so I'm going into box number two of this box of amazingness. Boxes of amazingness. This one's just labeled hockey number one oldest. This is the oldest stuff. And this is one of the heavier of the, the three boxes that are left over. So everything from the first box, I found a place for it. I'm quite proud of myself that I found a place for all of it. And now the trick is to be able to find places for all of it for the rest of them too. All right, first off the top, wow. Uh, so this is a, a Canucks magazine. You can see how old this is. Uh, from December 3rd, 1974. And look at the, the shape that's in. Wow, Coach Phil Maloney. Need a great hockey team. Play power play on CKNW 98. Wow, that is fantastic. Leading the North Stars by... Tom McLean. So that's the one page where there's something something cut out of here. There's probably some kind of coupon that was cut out of there. 1974-75 roster for the Vancouver Canucks. And it says 74-5. Yeah, isn't that nice? Uh, Dennis Ververgaert. Jerry Meehan. Gary Monahan, Chris Odlifson. Come over from Boston the year before. Wow. Goaltenders, Ken Lockett and Gary Smith. Huh. That is fantastic. And an article all about uh, Bill Goldsworthy. Minnesota North Stars. There's your, there's your Minnesota North Stars. This was a dollar when it came out. I'm, I'm guessing it would be worth more than that right now. With the visitors, Cesar Maniago. That is awesome. Another Canucks magazine. This one's a dollar on the cover as well. It looks like Don Lever on the front. And cover, Jocelyn Guervois. And Don Lever's respective efforts are captured by photographer Chris Bickford. Craig Ramsey interviewed on page three. There's Craig Ramsey there. Wow, that is what years. Th this is February 3rd, 1976. Wow. Oh man. Craig Ramsey. There's some there's some epic sideburns there on Ramsey. And big interviews. And of course, this is the kind of stuff I love, right? Is to see all these interviews and all this information uh, from from back then. Again, it's the snapshot, right? Snapshot of where everybody was at the time. The Canucks. Uh, Gary Smith, Ken Lockett down here. Lockett rocking amazing hair there. Mike Robitaille, Bob Daly, Tracy Pratt, Dennis Kearns. Andre Boudria, Rick Blight. Wow. That is fantastic. Gary Monahan, Bob Murray, Harold Snaps. There's Harold down in the corner. Wow. And there's a Labatt's Blue ad. You're still going to see a lot of Labatt's Blue ads in these things. Uh, Toronto Dominion, the bank where people make the difference. Now we just call it TD, TD Bank. Team captains, Jim Schoenfeld for Buffalo, John Busick, Boston, Daryl Sutter, Toronto, and Jim Nielsen, California. So that's for the All-Star All game, I guess? Adams, no, Adams Division team captains. Weird. That's when the divisions were all bizarre. NHL scoring leaders as of February 2nd, 1976, Guy Lafleur, 76 points uh, in 51 games. In 46 games, Bobby Clark had 73 points. Pete Mahovlich had 68 points in 51 games. That is really cool. The Molson Cup. So this is for the the All Star suggest or All Star um, three star selections. Rick Blight had eleven points. Yeah, not too shabby. Oh, here we go. And then there's a, a cartoon at the back here. So if you guys can read that, looks like you've been in a, been in a Buffalo Stampede. And then nope. Just Korab. So if if you're a Buffalo fan, or if you saw Jerry Korab play, you'd know that that's, a, that's actually a pretty witty one. All right, so we've got Canucks Magazine. Are these all Canucks Magazines? <laughs> okay. Holy crap. Yeah, these are all Canucks Magazines. And they're all different. I haven't come across a duplicate yet. Wow. Um... 
I mean, just look at this. That is fantastic. October 12th, 1974. So it's got a dog-eared corner, but it's from 1974. From here, 1976. This one's 1976. This one's a dollar, and they've they've actually got a the cover's done a little bit different. So is that afterwards? 1978. So it's newer. It's only 42 years old. Holy crow. You can really see those were sweaters, too. That's when jerseys were different. That's when they were sweaters. And then at some point they became jerseys. In the 80s, basically, they became jerseys. And the funny thing is, I, I don't really have sweaters. Although there was something gifted to me by the same person that gave me these that will be in a video at some point soon. Calgary, Calgary Boomers present Boomers Boomin Soccer Camps. Okay. Calgary's newest soccer school. The Calgary Jewish Center. Yeah, all right. For kids, for boys and girls age 7 to 16. They got a phone number up here. There's boomers. That's that's interesting. <laughs> that's just one of those things that gets thrown in here. You're like, all right, yeah, sure. All right, that checks out. Wow, February 4th, 1972. This is older than me. Holy crap. 1972. Look at the condition that's in. Man, and it just keeps going down. Like, oh wow, what in the world is he wearing there? So, I'm I'm guessing broken nose. But how much protection would that actually offer? Yeah, that's that's really on there. January second, nineteen seventy-two. Wow. It's a man's world with Yardley Black Labor label, and it's it's Bobby Orr that's the ad for that. Wow, this is it's no wonder this was the heaviest box. I'm just floored. Look at the goalie mask. Ah, uh, there you go. That's a goalie mask for you. People talk about safety now. February fifteenth, nineteen seventy-two, and yeah, it's got that Bobby Orr ad right in there. Look at that hair. Wow. And then each of these are like, you know, when you when you go to the game and you pick up your, your program. But there's so much more in here. This is another one that they were playing against the North Stars. October is not time to select the Rookie of the Year in the NHL despite some obvious lobbying in the East. It's too, too early to really tell. Ah. For instance, there's a young man playing for Montreal named Guy Lafleur who might just get a vote or two. He was, after all, the number one amateur, number one choice in the amateur draft. Wow! The Canadians have another chap, too, who qualifies. Goalie Ken Dryden, who played only six games last season before his playoff heroics. There figures to be a bit of uh, a lobbying from Vancouver also on behalf of a cool young defenseman named Jocelyn Guervemont. Not thinking that at the end of the year, Guy Lafleur had a whole lot to worry about when it comes to Rookie of the Year. Not thinking that's a thing. That's that's crazy. Vancouver Canucks Magazine. Wow. Look at that. 19. All right. Which year is this? Uh, let's see. 19, 1974. Are these all Canucks Magazines? You know, it was funny. Um, the question gets asked every now and then, like, well, which which is Shannon's favorite team? Oh, it's the Canucks. Um, and and I, I know there have been times where it hasn't appeared that it's the Canucks because of videos I've done. But yeah, it's it's been Vancouver. And I've actually found a duplicate magazine. Oh, there's another one. I'm going to have to go through these looking for, for ones that are duplicates as well. Because I'm sure there's more than a couple. Wow. Okay, this is all Canucks. But like, you you can't find these anywhere. 1977. I mean, they're they're I mean they're not pristine, but considering how old they are, 
and and I have I have got books on on eBay and Amazon that are older, uh, not older than this, but older magazines like going back like yearbooks from the eighties and whatnot, that I've paid you know fifteen twenty bucks for that have had you know rough covers and whatnot. I've been like ah oh, that's fine because I know it's harder to find, but this is. This is insane. This one here, this one has Snaps on the cover. So there's there's Harold Snaps. Oh wow. <laughs> and and uh, look at this. You're getting tires for for twenty nine dollars and forty seven cents each. And then your high grade ones forty six dollars uh, or or less each. And white walls are seventy ninety five. So. I, I'm pretty sure tires are a little more expensive than that now. And, and it is fun to look back through through advertising and say, oh, wow, that was how cheap back then? So, yeah, this is all Vancouver. Now I'm, now I'm really curious about what's in the other boxes. Like how much of that is going to be Vancouver Canucks as well? And and for for fans of the Canucks, they're probably like, oh, Shannon could do great videos. And for fans of other teams, they're probably like, oh, Shannon's gonna do a bunch of Canucks crap, isn't he? He's gonna turn the turn the the, the, the camera around and, and 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 he's gonna show the Canucks corner and there's gonna be a bunch of Canucks corner videos. Possible. Not gonna say it doesn't happen. It's possible. Now there's there's a hockey picture for you. There's a hockey picture right there. That's perfect. What was that's from seventy eight then, right? Seventy eight. Wow, Tracy Pratt, big huge article on Tracy Pratt. First year or seventy three seventy four first half West All Star team. Bernie Perrant for Philadelphia. West Philadelphia. Uh, Bill White defense for Chicago. Don Ari uh, defense for St Louis. Dennis Hull, left wing for Chicago. Bobby Clark, center for Philadelphia. And Bill Goldsworthy, right wing for Minnesota. Wow, that is amazing. Spar Sparling Sporting Goods. Scotiabank Hockey College wants you. Sign me up in any branch of Bank of Nova Scotia. All-time records. Gordy Howe. All-time record in goals with 786. There were five guys with 500 goals in the NHL in 1973. Five. Gordy Howe, Bobby Hull, Maurice Richard, John Beliveau, uh, and Frank Mahovlich. That's it. Norm Ullman's next at 459. Wow. And still active at the time this 73-74 season's going. Frank Mahovlich, Norm Ullman, Alex Del Vecchio, Johnny Busick, Stan Makita, Phil Esposito, Dean Prentice. And Ari Richard and Dave Keon. Wow, that is this like this is this is what I I I honestly I've always loved since I was a little kid is getting into the 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 weeds of the history of it. This is kind of a fun. So this is one of those you know what they oh, and here's here's your Molson Canadian ad. Don't drink beer, kids. If you're too young, don't look at this ad. So if you can't read it, uh, this is, of course, puck in the net, goalie not happy. Look, I know I'm only a defenseman. I hate to tell you uh, hate to tell you your job, but you've got to quit ducking every time Schmott shoots the puck at you. So defenseman to the goaltender. That is fun. Oh, there you go. Official referee signals. And it's got all the penalties in here. I remember when that used to be in the in the program. That is insane. Player of the week. Player of the week, Jacques Caron. Vancouver Canuck fans don't really get to see a lot of Jacques Caron, what with Gary Smith handling the bulk of the goaltending here, but rest assured the Canucks are delighted to have him around. The people in charge of running the Canucks call Caron the perfect backup goaltender and for that reason they were absolutely delighted when he became available in the reverse draft last summer he was claimed out of the st louis organization by seattle totems but that's about as close as he's ever going to get to wearing a seattle uniform a fun loving guy the 33 year old caron is well liked by his teammates for his jovial attitude he brings to the dressing room 
He's as good at the, at, with the one-liners as anyone when it comes to work. However, he gets right down to business. People like Bobby Schmatz, who really want that extra bit of shooting practice, quickly come to appreciate having Jacques Courant around as the goaltender is always willing to stay on the ice those extra few minutes and block shots for the forwards. Courant is a real team man. Unfortunately for the Canucks, they're his team. That is insane. That is really, really cool. Yeah, I... Huh. <laughs> I I did not realize this was a box of Canucks goodness. So, wow. And yeah, now I'm really curious about the other two boxes, which I'll do unboxings of over uh, the, the next couple of days. And I am being good. I am not opening these boxes before I do the video. But... Um... I, I, this is one of those things where when people ask me, so what's your, what's your collection worth? How do you, how would you put a price on any of this? Like, you know, if, if I was of the mind of, Hey, you know, I could sell this stuff on eBay. How would I put a price? Cause I can never replace it. So, wow, that is, that is, that is insane. And there's no stickers. There's no writing on them. There's no, none of these are, are, are damaged. It's just, is this in really good shape this is in really good shape and it's it's all the way from the 70s and it is just what a thing of beauty I, I can't wait to mine through these magazines looking for information canuck related so uh, again for canuck fans they may very well be very happy that i got this box for non-canuck fans they may be less happy if i had known what was in this box i wouldn't have wore senators so that's Although people are going to think, well, if Shannon knew what was in the box, that's what he'd say. Because he'd, yeah, no, I had no idea. Wow. That is something. I, I, it's, it's just, it's so much information. It is so much, where do you start and what order do you put it in and, and which, which articles are, because the, the nice thing with the, the, the programs that they had back then, and, and this is, you know, programs from the games is they would give you articles on both teams. So it wasn't just, here's your lineup card. It would give you an article on the guys from the other teams. And here's this guy, like the Craig Ramsey one I showed you guys. This is, this is something. I can't wait to go through this. I don't know, I don't know where I'm going to put, I don't know how I'm going to categorize these. I don't know where they're going to go. Uh, but they, they definitely deserve uh, somewhere that is as safe and as dry as possible. As dry as possible. So... Uh, they're they're gonna they're gonna stay in here with me. That's these aren't going anywhere. This is fan freaking tastic. All right, thank you guys so much for watching for all your support. And and again, I've I've got the best damn subscribers this planet's got. This is yeah, um, you know from from jerseys in my collection, I couldn't find that people have been like, hey, I've got it. Do you want it? And and to this where somebody will message me, go, oh, I got these boxes of magazines and old hockey stuff. Do you want it? Yeah. Absolutely yes, and this this is why I say yes. This is why it's yeah. I'll, I'll take that. I'll take that off your hands. No problem. Because this is this is amazing. So uh, thank you to all of you for watching. Hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video, and I'm really really anxious now to see what's in the other boxes. Really really anxious, but I will not open them until I'm filming a video. You have my word, and I will talk to you again then. No, the video's not coming up 10 minutes after this one upload. I'm not doing them all back to back. I'm going to pace it out. I'm going to be good. I promise. Cross my heart. I, fingers crossed. All that. You, you, you guys know. Thanks for all your support. I'll talk to you again very soon.